Hey, g'day legends, and welcome back to another episode of Getting Back to Basics. <sighs> and right now, I'm here on a coral sand cay in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef. I've kayaked out here with a handful of mates. Took four and a half hours in pretty rough seas. Nonetheless, it was a hell of a lot of fun. But we've ended up here where is home for the next three nights. I've literally just got out of the water then. Speared a beautiful coral trout on high tide. And that there is dinner. <sighs> so stoked to be here. I'm gonna film the whole next three days. Let's see where the adventure takes us. Halfway to where we're spending the night. Just checking that the yak's tied down. Wow. Incredible, eh? Looks good after that bit of rain. It was a six hour drive from where we live with four cars and half a dozen humans packed to the rafters with kayaking gear, camping, and fishing gear. So most of the crew I actually hadn't met before, but I was excited uh, to meet them in this environment nonetheless, uh, and mindful not to be throwing cameras in their face. It generally doesn't go down well with people you've only met. Uh, it would have been six months since I've been in the kayak since the last big trip, so I was bloody excited to get out there. Oh! Wow. Beautiful, 20 knots. Blue skies, four hour paddle. Let's do it. Woo! There's that. This really puts things into perspective. That there is well over a thousand times bigger of a vessel than what I'm in. What's the name on it? Florida Highway. That's <laughs> <laughs> wild. Woo! Barry Poppins, Barry Poppins, it's back to basics, you on channel mate? On channel, back to basics, this is Mary Poppins, alright? Mate, great to hear your voice, uh, old salt. How are you travelling mate, over? Yeah, the south around that too, back to basics, Mary Poppins, over. <laughs> Yeah, mate, how's, how's morale down uh, your end of the voyage, mate? Uh, and is our trajectory on point, over? Uh, trajectory on looks pretty sweet, over. Oh, uh, sorry, not over. Um, and the people next to us are uh, doing fine in the big over. Yeah, copy that, mate. Uh, we will continue on. Uh, give us a buzz if anything. I'll have the, uh, the Pleasure Channel open for yarns, over. Roger, roger. In roughly 8 kilometres, we should be able to see the signs of the island. Over. Yeah, we'll see the coast, but it's just here, so I'll be doing it when we get here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, no, come on. We're not savages. Nah, of course not. I thought you'd love a bit more pleasure, time to time. I do. <laughs> do, I am a fan of pleasure, hence why we're on channel 69. Hey. Alright, I've got like 15 litres in here. Wow. Guns, man. I can put more in there. Yeah, no. <laughs> definitely don't need any more weight in this thing. It's pretty hard to have an appreciation of just how extreme this uh, ocean is at the moment. It's like being in a washing machine. It's just picked up from 18 knots to about 25, and there are some big waves coming through. I've had a couple crash over my shoulders. But what I've been doing is putting all my weight into the wave and then bracing like uh, with this paddle, like an outrigger on one side. I've lost sight of the other crew members, but I've got sight of the uh, end destination. Oh, that, that was a big one. This 
through a very rough day, but it's all worth it pulling up. That's a lot of yeah. Oh. oh, the legs are going to be so happy. Oh. Oh. oh man, I have got about 30 kilos of salt water in the hatch. Well done team, well done, great effort. Solid paddle. So after we pulled in, we dragged the yaks up the beach, set up camp, found a spot to sleep, and then kicked back for the afternoon. And it really didn't take long for it to sink in just how special a spot this was. A tiny sand cave, tiny island on the Great Barrier Reef, surrounded by fringing coral. <sighs> it was good to be back out here. For the afternoon, a, a quick beach comb and a lay of the land with a walk around the island, which only took about 10 minutes. And then we threw some lines out off the beach with some live bait to try and catch a fish for dinner. Oh man. Well, I got another two of these. That'll be great. It's a beautiful fish. Just live bait straight off the beach. Yum, yum, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be really tasty. But as usual, we were really keen to jump in the water as the visibility was quite good and looked like there was a lot of fish life. So we jumped in the water to have a look at the reef and hopefully with six mouths to feed, get a couple more fish. Incredible. With the sun starting to set, we thought we'd get a coal base going and take the pace off for a bit. Um, writing in the journal. Uh, if you didn't want to get more of an insight into what goes on there behind the scenes, you can check out our Patreon page, B2B Adventures. And then it was time to slab up the fish for dinner. There was a fair bit of hunger getting around the camp by then.
Wow, this coral trout is so fresh. It's still twitching with its nerves. If I press my finger down on the meat, that's how fresh it is, look at that. It was swimming in the water about 30 minutes ago. These skins would normally get wasted, but I've just deliberately done a dodgy skinning job. I'm gonna chop them up into really fine pieces, salt them, throw them in a hot pan with vegetable oil, and shallow fry them. Skin, scales, and all. so important when you hunt and kill an animal that you do your best to eat as much of that animal. That is going to be incredibly tasty. Got the fillets and the skins here. A bit of flour, a few herbs and spices. Throw a few of them right on top of the, the pan over here. Oh, how yeah, good does that look? Let's flip them, let's have a look. Oh. oh. Oh wow. Yeah. Coral trout, fish skins, fillet, dinner. That's it. Plain and simple. Look at this man hard at work. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>